What's up, Culture Cartel family? It's your boy, B Money, and I got a lovely host right here. Keish, on your ones and twos. On your ones and twos. Yo, for the viewers out there, for the subscribers, we definitely appreciate y'all for tuning in. Welcome to the hottest podcast in Orlando. No need, no introduction on that. Yo, Keish, tell them how good your weekend was, girl. Oh my goodness, my weekend was amazing, let me tell you. So anyway. All right. Y'all already know I've been changing my life, so I've been giving back. Yeah, yeah. I went downtown and I actually gave away 150 sandwiches to the homeless. Oh, so you was doing downtown charity, Orlando? Right? Okay, all right, positive, positive. So that was what's up. And it's so inspirational because so many people, everyone had a story. You know, well, we all have a story, but true. It was so touching. Okay, okay. Just to hear everybody's story, where they came from, and. How did it ended up in that situ unfortunate situation, man? That's, uh, you know, and so then so let me tell you, my feet was hurting so bad. I went and got me a pedicure. Um, how long were you, how long was you serving out sandwiches? Oh, you was in that one. You was in that center, just serving up, making sandwiches. Well, you know, listening to everyone's stories, uh -huh. walking around. You know, what I'm saying it takes time because okay. you don't want. It's not rush. You don't want to rush. Okay. You okay. know what I'm saying? All right. All right. So I was just sitting there and actually listening. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Hopefully, you got. Did you get some footage of that? Yeah, listen, stay tuned because I have a lot of different things coming to the table. Okay, that's what's up, Keish. Because right. you know I'm always working. It's All right. never a dull moment with Keish. Oh, hey, hey, if y'all don't know, now y'all know. All right, well, you know, my, my weekend was mild. It was cool, you know what I'm saying? After me just clubbing it, I figured, you know what I'm saying, I just settled down with my niece and nephew. Uh, I'm a big movie buff. I love movies. I love Netflix and Stranger Things. If y'all didn't haven't seen it, oh my goodness, I love that. It's coming oh, back do? on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's coming back on season three. It's out. So you know what I'm saying. If you want, you want to definitely check that out. It's definitely good for me. I I'm binge watched the whole damn thing. Listen, that's not even my cup of tea. But let me tell you, I was tuned all the way in from oh, start real? to finish. Yes, that's what's up. I loved that's what's it. Up. All right, cool. I loved it. Cool. So who is on this fan mail? All right, hold on. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. It was sent to me. It was sent to me. Let me go ahead and let it be known who it was. I swear that I'm all on y'all stuff. I'm like, what was that with the fan mail? All right, so, yo, Lisa from Miami. She wanted to know, how do you go about looking for a job? Well, I mean, it all depends on what job you're looking for. You know what I'm saying? No, it just doesn't matter. You still have to... For one, create okay. your resume. Yeah. Get your image together. Yeah. Make sure you dress accordingly. You know, right. you, you want to have something long, nothing short. Even if it's a pantsuit, a dress. Make sure it comes down to your knees okay. or your ankles, not past your knees. Okay, ladies, don't go out there thinking you're gonna. Okay, because I think this girl, I think she's trying to find her. Well, she just, a corporate job or I something mean, like that. I mean, she just said, you know, how do you go about looking for a job? Oh, so you change your voicemail? Hmm? So, change your voicemail. Oh. So if you have, you know, this is um, Wendy, go ahead and leave a mess and all that music and so, stuff playing in the background. Take out all that music and so, you talk professional. So what you telling, just basically her making sure she come correct. Yeah, you clean make it sure up. Make sure she dress the part, make sure she act the Clean part. it up and you know, also for, you have to screen your calls. So if it's a phone call that you don't recognize, mm -hmm. still make sure you answer that phone call. Okay. Don't just say, yeah, what's up? Because <laughs> it uh, might be that job call. Yo, if I see an unknown number, I'm not going to say, yo, what's up? Um, listen, some people listen. That's not, okay, it's not for you. Hold on. You think they're some kind of bill collectors or something that's calling in saying, hey, you know, they want their money? Or is it, you know, I, every time I see an unknown phone number, I either. This is for when you're looking for a job. Right. So when you fill out, you know, a lot of applications. Yeah. You already know that a job, you look forward to a job calling you. Right. So when you see a different number pop up, right. you know what I'm saying? You're going to pick up that phone. Hello. This is Keisha. How may I help you? Oh, you got all white girl voice. Listen, why is that be white or whatever? Oh, Trousers. wow. So you... Trousers. Whatever. Switch it on them. Okay, make sure y'all switch it on them and make sure y'all sound professional if y'all are looking for a job. You already know how it is. It's definitely rough out there, but hey, Lisa, you gonna make it. You I gonna believe make it, Lisa. you. Gonna, you gonna get a job. You, you gonna, gonna get do, a job. You gonna do good. All right. All right, Culture Cartel fam, you already know what's good, but uh, you already know we got a couple artists lined up. You know how it is. Can't tell you what it is, but you already know, Keish. Tell them. You got you to gotta tell them. To... You always try and keep everything juiced up. Why you don't want to let them know? Well, I mean, hey, they got to tune in. You know what I'm saying? Make sure they hit that like and subscribe button. Like and subscribe. That's what we want you to do. All right, stay tuned. All right, Culture Cartel family, what's good? It's your boy, B-Money. You already know. 
Keisha. All right. Yo, for your viewers tuning in, we definitely appreciate it. Welcome to the hottest podcast in Orlando. It's going down. We got your boy. Tuli. All right. We finna shut it down. We got some questions to ask for you, Tuli, man. What's good, man? Where you from, homie? I'm from Bro, but I already in South Florida. That's where I'm from. Represent, bro. That's what's up. All right. All right. So, you know, how long you been doing music, homie? Well, it all started like when I was like in middle school. Okay. But I ain't take it serious until I got in trouble. Okay. What so, you do? I just kept running around. I don't want to listen to my mom. Like, I don't want to listen to nobody. Okay. I was just like, hey, man, you know, we all go through them stages, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't tell me y'all haven't gone through that stage, <laughs> that rebellious stage, yo. But yeah, so you just like, when just woke up one morning and said, yo, this is something I want to do, or was it just like somebody inspired you to do it, or what's up? Uh, like, mm, like, and bro, everybody was rapping. Yeah. If you ain't rapping, they snapping. Okay. So I was just like. So hold on, tell, tell, tell the fam what snapping mean. Joking, clowning? Nah. No. Nah. Snapping, they hitting lit. Oh, they hit, oh, oh, they doing no. that. No. Okay. You know exactly what snapping <laughs> well, you, mean. Well, you know what, you know what it is, huh? I, I never did it, but read okay. between the lines. Okay, okay. <laughs> nah, but you decided that was like a positive influence yeah, for you, bro. Yeah, the most positive influence, like my cousin Henry, like he, all oh, he he really inspired me though for rapping. Okay, you know so, and then like once I got out my program, that's when I really took it serious, cause it was like either you you be in the streets, mm -hmm. or you go to jail, or you gotta find something positive. Like I work. But like when I rap, I feel more better and more free. So. And how yeah. long were you in this program for? I did three years and six months. Wow. Bro. Three program. years and six. Whoa. Oh, oh, hey man. Oh, oh, oh. Hey man. You know what I'm saying, man? I did some time. You did his time, man. You know what I'm saying? He's good. He's good. So like, right. yeah. When you go to jail, though, you you experience a lot. Like mm. you lose a lot of people. Like when I was in jail, like I lost my best friend, mm. Keezy. Like I. Was, Call him K Savage though, you know. He from the old, he from Orlando, but okay. you know, he been watching notes. Like, yeah, rest his soul. Yeah. And then like that really just motivated me though. Once I knew he was gone, uh like my brother, my twin brother Taliban, like he tell me like you gotta take off with this rap shit. Um I'm, I'm a dog dirt here tell me you gotta take off with this rap shit. Yeah. Um, my cousin two three he be like, y'all, you gotta take off with this rap shit. Even my mama listened to my music though. What? Yeah, my mama here. And she be like, he ain't lying either. Like when she okay. hear, she be so like, so you already know, mama give you extra, uh, give you that motivation, bro. You gotta go hard, bro. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's, that's good. That's, that's, that's good. Hey, that man, you, so, you not in the streets no more, so you just trying to. No, nah, I'm just chilling and working. Okay. Good. That's how you so nine to five, okay? Nine to five. Don't be yeah. all that gang banging. Make sure you get your <laughs> jobs. Miss okay. motivational speaker over here. <laughs> Nah, man, but uh, yeah, man, on your Insta on your social media, man, you got any uh, upcoming albums dropping, bro? Yeah, like I got a um, mixtape I'm trying to work on right now. It's okay. called Life After Ju Like Life Over Juvenile. Mm. Oh, I want to hear that story. Like, no, but that's for another. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, for yeah, something yeah. else. We gonna, we gonna have it for it because we got yeah. juice. Or okay. Whatever. Right. <laughs> so is it more like is it like an autobi like a semi autobiography on on your life or is it more like yo telling it like it is or is like, it like yeah. Like, it's just like, for me, explaining from like being a juvenile to adult. Okay. Like, the life I was living as a juvenile right. versus an adult. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm 21 now. Okay. You know, so versus me being 15 all the way to 18, I was still a juvenile. Right. They didn't consider me as no grown man. So now I'm a grown man. And they charged you. But yeah. So there's no, I'm charged up now. Hey, man, he good. But listen, that's fine. You know what I'm saying? You overcame it. Yeah. yeah. So, where do you write your music at? Like, do you have like a spot that you go in and you write your music? Like, yeah, so I'll be on the phone. Like, I'll be using my my phone and my notes. Okay. I like, I'll be on, like, I don't know, sometimes when I'm high, I just go to freestyle and then they be like, you gotta start recording yourself. Yeah. So I'm snapping. Cause I don't remember what I said after I'm yeah. done. But yeah, like, I'd rather write, like, if I get a notepad, that's the best time for me. Okay. You know, but if you got time to sit and think, you, you kind of something. Have you opened for anybody? Nah, I ain't open for nobody yet mm -hmm. because when it was time for me to open for somebody, they done got into a situation, they closed the whole little thing, had to cancel it. So, Man, that's crazy. But other than that, mm -hmm. it was just a better opportunity for me to look forward okay. to something else. All right, who would you like to open for, bro? I really, to be honest, I open up for anybody that support me. 
Okay. You know, just because if they supporting me, I'm supporting them. And I'ma just do it off of love too. Mm. To be honest, they ain't in it for no money, no mm. fame. Cause I want to be my own person. Okay. Like money gonna come to me. You feel me? That's why. I, that's why I always say I'm NBA. Cause I'm a natural born hustler. I'ma get it out of the mud by myself. No, oh, yeah, that's his Instagram. So go ahead, tell him. Yeah, tell him where they can find that's, you, bro. Oh, that's oh yeah, my Instagram is NBA's tooling. You know what I'm saying? You just type in NBA, you'll just see my whole little clip, or you'll just. You know what I'm saying? That's just how it is. NBA. Okay. Bet, bet. And we already know you've been watching our episodes. Yeah, I've been you watching. You know we like the money. <laughs> yeah, man. You gotta go ahead and give it we up, like brother. The money. Yep, yep. Gotta give it up. Gotta Drop give it right in, yeah. Yeah, show some love. Your money. Mm, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm you like, have I'm been like, working. Like, oh, oh. Drop the stack. Oh. Drop the stack on. Oh. 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 Alright. Man, that's yeah. a lot. That's, that's love showing love, bro. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. All right, well, you already know what we about to go ahead and get into. My favorite segment. Uh, it's a tongue twister challenge. All right, Culture Cartel family, we about to go ahead and get into it. My favorite segment of the show, uh, tongue twister challenge. And, uh, okay, we got to say this three times. All right, I hope y'all, okay, it's called Willie's Really Weary. We got to say that three times. So, y'all ready for that? Yeah, you going to go first. Well, I always, Please. I always got to go first. All right, so count me down, Keys. You always want to count. All right. I want, yeah, I want to count down because, look, man, you see what this says? <laughs> One, I'm going to mess up on this. Two, three, drop it. Willie's really weary. Willie's really weary. Willie's really weary. I can't even say that fast. I got a three. Uh -huh. All right. One, well, go ahead, Keys. Let's see what you got. Let's Willie's see if you got it. Really weary, Al. <laughs> Willie's really weary. Ow, I'ma throw it back. <laughs> really weary, Willie, but I messed it up. So you gonna drop a another <laughs> flow on the beat? Uh, <laughs> that's Keish, y'all. That's Keish. Willie's really weary. Right, Catch an art down, now he weary. Oh, oh, he rhyming with oh, it. Oh, oh. <laughs> Keep going, cause I wanna hear some more. <laughs> yeah, man. When you try to push on the floor, you gotta on the flow. Floor. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Uh, Willie's really weary. Oh, more time. Catch an out down, now you weary. Hey, mama. Right, you in the cut, Willie. All right. Uh, Dirt with the sack, he gonna get him. Oh. All right. Tell him he's really weary. He just came All with right. him rose out. Yo, yo. He, he's him, the only bro. one that came with him rose out. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> yo. That's fine. All right, we appreciate you for coming. Fun. Yeah, man. He said we clown. We love it. Oh yeah, you already know, man. This is Coach Cartel music right here. That's why we do it. Anyway, make sure you stay tuned because we got so much juice dropping. Just keep sending them to me. I'll be watching. I'll be okay. Watching. Watch um, yep. Make sure y'all hit that like and subscribe button, fam. Y'all right? I'm trying to watch theirs too, man. All right. Just send me. CCM family, what's good? It's your boy B Money in the building, and you already know I got my guest host, Keish. <laughs> All right, Keish. Yo, we're gonna go ahead and get into it. And we have a lovely guest host as well. Her Big name is. Tuffle. Yeah, I'm gonna let her pronounce this because, you know, I was talking <laughs> with her. She, she is like, it's a special way I pronounce it. So go ahead, tell, tell the fam how you pronounce your name. It's nice and smooth. This is Ms. J. You <laughs> hear? Oh. All right, all right. So Nizze, Nizze, how was your weekend, girl? Wonderful, blessed. Blessed. All right. What did you do? I worked. Work. You know, to support this this career. Okay. <laughs> so hey. that's always a blessing. Okay. I'm waking up. I'm making money. I'm healthy. I'm blessed. I'm happy. Hey man, that's, that's definitely blessed. What's up? Right, that's what's right up. about that. So, uh, <laughs> oh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Tell the fam what's, what's a little bit about yourself. Okay, where do I start? Like I'm so complex. <laughs> um, I'm Nije. I'm a singer songwriter. Um, I do a little bit of R&B, neo soul, um, but I like to really touch in everything. I'm I'm very versatile. Okay. You know. Um, I am all about love, mm. peace, and just um, being genuine. And I try to put that in my music. And okay. I try to just you know. Glow that to toward the world, you know, just okay. like every receipt. Well, you glowing. Hey, you yeah. glowing. Yeah, man, that's what's up. That's what it's all <laughs> about. All right. It's so glowing. tell, tell, um, tell the viewers, tell the fam, how long have you been doing music? So I started with poetry. Okay. Um, that was ever since I was little. That was my like coping mechanism, how I expressed myself. Okay. And people were like, "You got like a song here." So okay. when I was 
13 I wrote my first song. Okay. When I was 15, that's when I started recording in the studio, and I was like, okay, this this is what I want. Like. Okay, so at 15 you realize, yeah, this this is where I want to be at. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Okay. All right. So, um, this might be a silly question. I mean, uh, but I just want to ask. I mean, you know, you say you do poetry. So, um, do you have people to help you write your own music, or it's all you? 100%. No, I I don't feel as like connected with it. If mm. anybody writes my music, oh, okay. I like to write all my stuff because everything that I write is either like an experience that I went through, okay. an emotion, some sort of life situation that I feel like if, if I write it down, there's other people that can connect with that while I'm expressing myself. So okay. I like to write yeah, my stuff. That was a stupid question. She just told us she's yeah. a poet. <laughs> I, that's why, you know, I mean, okay. there is wow. people that help Cole, right? Yeah, like, I, I can just you have a team, you have but, a team, um, you know what I'm her saying? For, but for me, yeah, no, I like to write my stuff on my own. And she's giving us Erica Badu. Oh, yeah, yeah, I took your social media. You got that, you got that Erica Badu soul vibe. When you said Neo Soul, I was like, yeah, yeah, Erica Badu. That is such a compliment, so yeah. thank you. Right, what's up? You must get, do you get that a lot? Or? Um, around that area, yes, yeah, for sure. But a lot of people now, like, mention people that are out now. Oh, okay. So, like, and um, like where do you write your music? Do you have, like, a place that you go? <laughs> so, I'm all about vibes, as okay. you could sense. So, like, I like to light a candle. I like mm -hmm. the light to be dim. That's I what like you to be you. quiet and be by myself. Like, yeah, just okay. so I can focus on what, I, what I'm feeling at the moment. Do you have yeah. a particular candle that you light? Like a scent? A smell? Give me a secret. Give me a secret. Wait, what's wrong with your face? So, I love, right now I have this rose champagne one. Ooh. It smells so good. But anything blue, like ocean. Yeah, that's my favorite sky. color. Oh, oh my gosh. So relaxing. I like, yeah, I like that. Yeah, and your tattoos, free soul, and then you have the music. Yes, this is, you know, I yeah. try to express my, myself in whatever way I can. Tattoos being one. Okay. So, and this has to do with one of my songs I wrote called "Stay Weird, Stay Free." So um, the first couple lyrics in this, "Don't try to catch me because I'm a free soul." So I'm like, listen, just. When you see me, if you don't know me, I want you to get a piece of who I am. Just yeah. That. They want to vibe. So, we want you to vibe off you. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's awesome. awesome. And is there anyone in Orlando that you would like to work with? Yeah, that's a good question. There is. So, just because I feel like it's not my norm, mm -hmm. um, but I feel like it's popping. Landy? No, we have no. to check Landy out. Yeah. yeah, we gotta check him out. Landy. Like, I keep seeing him everywhere. I see him doing his thing, and I respect that. And um, anything that can help me blossom in different ways. I like to not just stay stuck in way. I try to, you know, yeah. whatever t sort of way that helps me branch into something even better or different, like I'm down. So I feel like we would make a good collab. Okay. That's awesome. We have to check out yeah. Landy. Yeah, we yeah. gotta check him out. Okay. <laughs> now you already know, you seen our episodes. Uh -huh. You want your money. Uh -huh. yeah, gotta right. give it up, gotta give it yeah, up. Right. Uh, uh, yeah, gotta you know, go ahead and contribute. Y'all know I was working this weekend today. I knew, oh, right. I knew you cashed that check. All right, all right, all right. So in love, so in love. Shoot. All right, okay. All right, well, CCM family, you already know my favorite segment. We're gonna have to go ahead and get into it. It's right. that tongue twister challenge. And you know what I'm saying? The tongue twister challenge makes sure I get it right. Okay, well. Get it right, because uh, you know how yeah. you know, right for all of us. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about me. You already know I'm gonna get it right. Okay, it's called Willie's Really Weary. So you gotta say that three times fast. Keish, go on. Oh, you okay. you oh. want me to drop it? Yes. Oh, okay. Go ahead, please. <laughs> One, two, Break it down. three. Let's go, Willie's. Really wary. Right. Ow, Willie's really wary. Ooh, we wet Willie. Willie's really wary. Ow. All right. Pass it okay, over. so she, yeah, she put a little oh, spin to okay. it. I thought you were cheating a little bit. Oh, but. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Willie's really wary. Right. Willie's really wary. Willie's really wary. Willie's really wary. Willie's really wary. Oh, 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 oh. All right. Honestly, I'm so shocked. You know, I had my weenies this morning. Like, okay. That, so, that, that never happened. Really that never happened. As pumped as you, but I'm gonna go ahead and come with it. All right, check. I need the bounce help. Oh, okay. To be honest, yeah, that was that. All right, all right. So let me go ahead and go. I don't even count down this time. I got this. All right, check. Willie's really, 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 really. There was a lot of really's in there. Hey, I tried. I tried. I tried. I tried. Oh my goodness, she is so life. Thank you so much for sitting in 
chat with us, yes. tell them where to find you. Yes, so fam. Instagram, Facebook, Pandora, any streaming platform, mm -hmm. um, but the J. Oh, yeah. M S S J A E apostrophe. Get it right. Get, Get it right. right. I'm tired. <laughs> Alright, Coach Cocktail family. You know what I'm saying? We out here. Peace.